and stopped in a town called Waxahachie, Texas, which is home to the Superconductor Super Collider Project. The eight and a quarter billion dollar atom smasher is designed to help physicists better understand matter. The Super Collider suffered a blow last month when the House of Representatives voted to cut off its federal funding. After a tour of the site, the president spoke in support of the project. Now, the Super Collider. The Super Collider is one of the greatest scientific projects in the entire world. And today, new frontiers beckon. New discoveries await. New progress lies before us. And our adventure is not to sail the open ocean, but rather to go to the edge of the universe and see the birth of space and of time. Our vessel is not called Santa Maria. It is a super collider. But human imagination is still our compass, and human ingenuity and yearning for progress our only power. And to those who would sacrifice tomorrow for today, I say trust in America's future. Trust in America's incredible capacity for renewal and innovation. And trust in the spirit that is here today. For ours is an eternal voyage to greatness, and each and every one of you is a part of that void. His first year as president was the first year that we really needed to, to make a big jump in the funding. We were asking for an additional $200 million from the previous year. We called President Bush and asked him to make a telephone call to the chairman of the subcommittee, Mr. Tom Vell of Alabama. President Bush did more than make a phone call. He invited Congressman Bevel and Congressman Myers, the ranking Republican, to come to the White House and have breakfast. We got the money to really accelerate our request for international funding. We asked the president to elevate the request for the Japanese. He's had two meetings with Prime Minister Miyazawa to, to make that a personal priority of the prime ministers. And today, after the president leaves, the Japanese working group will be here at the SSC to continue those negotiations. When we lost the vote in the House this year, first of all, President Bush did everything we asked him to do in the House of Representatives, everything that he was asked to do, plus a lot more that he wasn't asked to do. But once we lost the vote in the House, we knew that we had to really go all, all out in the Senate. Two weeks ago, President Bush had some of the undecided senators down to the White House and convinced at least two of the senators that voted against the project last year to vote for the project this year. And I will fight hard and continue to fight hard for the Super Collider.